let me introduce you to my uncle, Bill Majors. Uncle Bill was a 20th century polymath and he was a professional photographer, so he was a student of geometrical optics. And we would often talk about light, and he was always convincing me and telling me, Jason, light cannot turn a corner. He would insist that light cannot turn a corner. Here he is trying to convince me, and if you look fairly close, you can see my eyes are actually closed. I've sort of fallen asleep during Uncle Bill's explanation, as often was the case. But what we're going to do is see if Uncle Bill was right or wrong. So the basic question is, if you have light coming along, let's say one of our plane waves, and you have an opaque object, and you want to know what happens to the light when it gets to a screen. Right, so this is the screen. And if you believe in geometrical optics, then you think light only goes in a straight line, can't turn a corner. So if you were to plot the irradiance on this screen as a function of position, it would be nice and high out here. Plane wave went forward. And then as soon as you get to the edge, it would go straight to zero. Perfectly sharp shadow, according to my Uncle Bill. Let's see if that really happens. So here I have a laser, and I've beam expanded it a little bit so that it makes a fairly large, nice, uniform, illuminated area. And we're going to put a small object in the beam, this pin. So it's just a little straight pin with a round tip on it stuck in a piece of cork. So we're going to stick this in the beam and look at the shadow and see if Uncle Bill was right. So here it is. If you look pretty close at the shadow, the shadow looks nice and sharp. A nice round uh, little shadow and a nice stick coming off. I think I see a bright spot in the round thing, but that's probably just my imagination. So at this range, it seems like we have geometrical optics. But maybe light turns a corner, but not very much. So let's put this really far away. So if this laser is really well collimated and the light really is going in a straight line, then we should also get a sharp shadow when we put it here. So I'll put it here and uh, get it a little higher and see what happens. And now when you look, now something is going on. Now, if you look right there, you can see the shape of the pin has a bright line going down the middle of it. Right? And clearly you can see the shadow of the head has a very bright spot right in the middle. So the only way that's possible is that light turned a corner. If light could not turn a corner, light only went in a straight line, we would have just as sharp of a shadow there as we would there. Right? So it would seem, and we know that geometrical optics isn't right. Okay, so this is, there's more going on than that. We know what you expect, or what we expect to happen is physical optics. So we'll have plenty of light over here, and then when you get near an edge, weird wiggly things tend to happen. Okay, so this is physical optics, and the def effect we're talking about, of course, it's called diffraction. So that's what we're going to do in this learning sequence is calculate this effect, see what kind of physics we can do to figure out what makes the light turn a corner.